What's up YouTube, it's Dinosaur here and today I got a video for you on how to root the Droid X. This is part 2 of both parts. This part I'm going to be showing you how to root and unroot your device and this is going to be using the computer. So first what you want to do is you want to go into your settings and you want to do for um, you want to go to it's going to be for USB debugging. When you connect it, you're going to have an option for USB debugging. You want to go there, and you want to enable USB debugging, and you want to put it in charge only mode. So, go here, and you want to put it in charge only. And that's basically what you got to do on your device. That's basically it. Now, what you got to do on your computer, I'll have the link in the video description. But, for now... Uh, go download it from the description. I'll have everything in there by the time the video is uploaded. And you're going to have this thing. And to get it, it's called Droid X Root. It comes with five files. And it came from here, Droid X Root. I don't know how clearly you can see that. But that says Droid X Root. Okay, you can see it now. That says Droid X Root, so you open that up and you get this. You get this folder and you get Droid X, Droid X Root. And they give you like five files or something like that. You want to unzip it. That's what you want to do first. And then you get the Droid X, the drivers. You, all you need is basically the Droid X thing. That's all you need. You just need the Droid X root. That's all you need. And you scroll up. They give you like five things. All you want is this right here. You want Droid X root. What's highlighted, you want to click on, double click on that. If you're not on Windows 7. If you are on Windows 7, you want to right click on it. And you want to run it as administrator. So click on run as administrator. And you run it as administrator. And obviously you say yes if you want to root your device. And then you're going to get this. You're going to basically have two options. It's going to show up right about here. Okay. Basically, it's as simple as it is. Root me and unroot me. This does take a couple tries because it doesn't always work on the first try. Yes, this happened to me before. It took me about 20 tries to get it to work, but it worked. Uh, I did it both ways just to tell you. The way I, I did it, the first way I tried it, I did this. It didn't work. And then I tried it again uh, using my device, which is in the other video without using ADB. And then I tried it again. I unrooted this, but by the way, by using this. Which is also works with quite quite nicely if you want to take it into the Verizon store, because you can't take it into the Verizon store and say, "Hey, I need to fix my phone," and say, "Okay, it's rooted," because they won't fix your phone. Because this is already voiding the warranty. Just by the way, telling you that disclaimer. So it's voiding the warranty. So you can't just go into the Verizon store and say, "Okay, hey, uh, I need help with my phone. It's doing something. It's glitching. I don't know what it's doing." You can't go in there and say, "I need help." Because your phone is rooted, so what you need to do is you want to click this unroot button. This perfect does everything you need to do, without having to do a factory reset and deleting everything. So basically, when you click root me, make sure your device is on the home screen because that's it works better by doing that. And when you do it, you want to toggle Bluetooth on and off, and that makes it help and work uh, better and work faster. So you're basically going to just click it. This and it's gonna root it. I just, I mine's already rooted, so I don't need to root it again. Basically, that is how you root and unroot it. It doesn't take more than half an hour. It actually takes less time to do it than on doing it on the device itself, because on the device itself, uh, more the chances are that you're gonna mess up on the first try. So it's probably gonna take you at least 45 minutes, because I messed up twice. And I only got it on the third try, so you're probably not going to get it on the first try. This is easier to do, but it takes a little bit of patience because 
It doesn't always work on the first clip. But basically, that is how to how to get it. I believe I have the link somewhere. If not, I'll tell you uh, where to get it from. Actually, I think I got it right here. Just give me a minute. Okay, found the link. Okay, you need to go to this website. I'm gonna, I'm gonna open the link in a new tab. Okay, right here. I'm actually gonna drag this over here. Okay, it's at alldroid.org, and it's on this link. Okay, you basically you scroll down on the link that I give you, and then you see the same thing that I showed you, and right below it. This is the Droid X root that's it. Click on that, you download it, and then you're basically set. All you have to do. It's a little bit harder to do it without ADB on the device, but this is just a one thing. You just have to download it, and that's basically it. That's all you need to do. And then I also have, I'm also, in the other video, the older video, I show you a couple benefits of free ring and what you can do with it. But I'll just tell you a little simple thing. Uh, when you root, you get super user permissions. So actually, when you root, when you click root me, and when it's completely done, you want to go into your app drawer and scroll all the way into the S section. And you want to, and if you're rooted, you want to be able to see the thing that says super user permissions. Um, if it's not there, you're not rooted. I don't know why it wouldn't be there, but it worked for me when I did it. So it shouldn't be that hard to do. I mean, it instantly shows up in your S section, and then you can go into the market and download things like the free Wi-Fi tether, which same thing as the 3G mobile hotspot, except it's free. So obviously, what's better, paying money, 20 bucks a month, or rooting? So obviously, rooting is the better option. Then you can just easily unroot it here. Also, you can get things like Shoot Me and overclocking your phone. Overclocking basically makes your phone faster, and then underclocking makes your phone slower. Slower doesn't really do any, it's not bad. I would only, I only make it slower at night, so when I don't want it to use any battery life, and then I just overclock it again during the day. It's not hard to do, it's pretty easy, actually, you just get this thing called Milestone Overclocking thing. I have all the things in the other video to show you, it's from the market. You can just basically overclock the Droid, the, Mo the Motorola Milestone, and the Droid X in just about two minutes. Set your parameters, do whatever you want, and basically that's all you need to do with it. So you can overclock, underclock, get free Wi-Fi tether working, get Shoot Me. Shoot Me, by the way, is something like on the iPhone where um, it, if you shake it, it lets you take a picture of the screen, just like on the iPhone you hold the power button and the home button lightly tap both of them and it makes like a flashing so that's basically how it works so this has been a video of how to root and unroot your Motorola Droid X I do not believe this works for any other devices but if you find that it does work which I don't recommend doing but if you find that it does work uh, you can give me an email or comment below in the description so please rate, comment, and subscribe. This has been How to Root and on your, your Motorola Droid X and a couple minutes of talking about what's good about rooting and what you get with it and what you can do after you're done. So please rate, comment, and subscribe. I'll have other videos soon.